Hi there, what's up? Back with another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how can you deploy your React application in your cPanel. So without further ado, let's get into the video. First of all, you have to understand that if you want to build your application, sorry, I mean, if you want to de uh, deploy your application, you have to build your application first. And the process of building or minifying your application is pretty much simple nowadays. Because you're using a bundler, I think. I'm using Vit as a bundler. There are Webpack and other kinds of stuff out there. So, what you need to do is simply check out check out uh, our package the JSON. I'm using npm, so I'm checking my script. You can check that uh, I have a script or build, and that is tsc minus b and and Vit build whatever. So this is the command. Or a script for building my application now let's go to the terminal and we're going to type npm run build okay npm run build after that we are going to hit enter it's going to take a little bit of time and it's gonna build our application the process has been finished what we're going to do is we're going to get we're going to get a folder named dist you may have something like build or some kind of stuff like that dist build or anything like that but you're going to get a folder which will include all of the files folders that are responsible for your application to be deployed now when you get this test i'm going to type explorer dot so that i can reach the destination of the project and here's the dist folder you can see we have files and folders icons data assets blah 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 which are needed for our application now we are going to zip this folder okay we're going to zip we're going to make an archive with that and the format should be zip not RAR4 or RAR anything like that we don't want that we want it to be dot zip okay the format is very important after we have zipped our folder named dist we are going to use this folder to deploy our application so let's get into the next section okay now the next step is to log into your cpanel so let's log into our cpanel and we have to go to file manager in file manager you will see there's uh, you know there are a lot of stuff here but we have to go to public underscore html hit this folder when you reach this you may find it empty or you know there might be something in it what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove all of these okay uh, so i'm going to be selecting everything but i'm going to keep dot ht access and underscore redirects file these are important uh, because i'm using react router dom and since i'm using react if i don't Keep it dot ht access and underscore redirects it might cause issue when I deploy my application and if I uh, you know go one place to another in my website and if I hit reload button it could cause issue so that's why these two files are important I will show you later on confirm and now the next step comes you can see that this dot zip here now we're going to upload something right let's hit the upload button here you will take you to another page something like this and then i'm going to drag and drop my file here you will see that it's uploading it's getting uploaded okay it's done let's go back and we can see it's not here you can refresh it and we will be able to watch it okay 
here is it dist dot zip now what you need to do we have to extract this okay right click and you will see that extract property is here okay extract and where are we going to ex extract this right here okay okay so you will see that now we have the folder now we're going to delete the zip file and now we're going to go inside the folder named dist and these are all the files we need select all and now we're going to move it okay so don't copy it we're going to directly move it and i'm going to uh, get back one step we'll see that we're in slash public underscore html slash dist that means we are inside public underscore html and inside that we are in dist folder but what you want to do is we want to take all the files and move to directly to the public underscore html folder okay we're going to move this so i'm going to remove slash and dist then i'm going to hit move files you'll see if you go back you will have all the files here and now what you need to do we need to delete the dist folder as well because it's empty and now if we go to the domain which is set up with the c panel you'll see that our application is running okay now dot ht access if you check the file sorry if you want to open it let's view it okay you will see that there are you know random stuff here you can simply copy paste these and add as dot ht access file and underscore redirects as well if you view it you will see that there's simply a single line here okay but it's important if you're using react and uh, react router dom so that's how you deploy your application your react application in your cpanel easily thank you so much i will see you in the next video